The Offset command enables you to make parallel or concentric copies of objects. When you start the Offset command, in the command line you can see a number of settings, including Erase Source, do you want to erase the source object, Layer, what layer do you want to use, and Offset Gap Type, which controls how corners are handled when offsetting polylines. The program prompts you to specify the offset distance, and it also provides several options. In the exercise file, specify an offset distance of 0.25 units and press Enter. Then, the program prompts you to select the object to offset, or you could choose the Exit or Undo options. Select the polyline. As soon as you do, the program prompts you to specify a point on the side to offset, or you can choose one of the other options. Notice the preview of the offset result. As you move the cursor to the inside or outside, the preview changes, so you can see where the resulting object will be offset. If you click to pick a point outside the original polyline, the copy is offset 0.25 units to the outside of the original polyline. Then the prompt repeats, so you can select another object. If you select the original polyline and move the cursor to the inside, you could place another copy. But you can also specify a different offset distance. Type 0.5 and press Enter. The new copy is immediately offset 0.5 units to the inside of the original polyline. Then the prompt repeats again. Press Enter to exit from the command and then click Undo to undo those two copies that you just created. When you start the offset command, you have several other options available to you. For example, you can specify the layer for the copied objects. If you choose the layer option, when offsetting objects, you can place the copies on either the current layer or the source layer. The source layer is the same layer as the original object being copied. To illustrate this, Select a different layer as the current layer. Expand the layer list and choose the layer named Red, which happens to have its color set to red. Now the program is waiting for you to enter the Layer option for offset objects. Choose Current, so that the offset copies are placed on the current layer. Then the program prompts you to specify the offset distance. Type 0.25 and press Enter. Then, you are prompted to select the object to offset. Select the polyline. Notice that this time, the preview of the offset copy is red, because the copy is being created on the current layer. Click to the outside to create an offset copy, and then press the Enter key to exit from the command. Try another example. Press the spacebar to restart the offset command. When you are prompted to specify an offset distance, you can either type in a distance or pick two points. If you pick points, the program will use the distance between those points as the offset distance. Use the Endpoint Object Snap to select the ends of this line segment. As soon as you select the second point, the program prompts you to select the object to offset. Click to select the circle. Again, as soon as you do, you can see a preview of the offset copy and the program prompts you to specify a point on the side to offset. And as you can see, the offset is now being created on the current layer. Click to offset the circle toward the outside. As soon as you do, the copy is created, and then the program prompts you again to select the object to offset. So, as you can see, by default, you have to select the object again each time you want to create an offset copy. But you can change this behavior as well. Press the Enter key to exit from the command and then press the spacebar to start the offset command again. Press Enter to accept the previous offset distance of 0.75 units and then click to select the object you want to offset. Before you specify the point on the side to offset, however, notice that there is a multiple option. If you choose the multiple option, after you click to specify the point on the side to offset, that prompt repeats again so that you can simply click to immediately create another offset copy of the object. It uses the same offset distance, and with dynamic input enabled, you can see the cumulative offset distance. When the program prompts you to specify a point on the side to offset, you can press Enter 
to select the next object. The program then prompts you to select a new object to offset. Select the green polyline. You can then offset that polyline using the current offset distance of 0.75 units. Press the Escape key to end the command. You can also use the Offset command to move an object a specified offset distance. When you start the command, if you choose the Erase option, the program asks if you want to erase the source object after offsetting. By default, this is set to No. Choose Yes and then specify the offset distance. Select the object to offset, which in this case is the outermost circle. As soon as you click to offset that circle to the outside, the circle is offset, but the circle you had selected has been erased. Press Enter to exit from the command. Note that this is a toggle. When you start the command again, notice that in the command line, you can see that Erase Source is now set to Yes. To change this, you must choose the Erase option and change it back to No. Instead of specifying the offset distance, you can also select a through point, in which case the offset copy will pass through the point you specify. To do this, choose the through option. The program prompts you to select the object to offset. Select the outermost circle. Then the program prompts you to specify a through point, and you can see a preview of the offset copy. Click to select the end point of the line. As soon as you do, a new copy of the circle has been created that passes through that point. Press Escape to end the command. Try one more example. The Offset command is particularly powerful when copying a closed object such as a polyline. In the drawing, pan over and use the Line command to create some new geometry. Now, because these are individual lines, you must offset each line one at a time. For example, start the Offset command and then specify an offset distance of 0.75 units. In this case, you would have to come back and clean up all of these individual lines using trims and extends. All of that additional work would be a waste of your time. There is a much faster technique you can use to quickly offset this object. Press Enter to exit from the command, and then click Undo to remove those lines that you already offset. Expand the Modify panel and then click the Edit Polyline tool. When the program prompts you to select a polyline, select one of the line segments you just created. Now it immediately recognizes that this is not a polyline and asks if you want to turn it into one. Press Enter to accept the default of Yes. Then, choose the Join option and select all of the geometry that makes up the object. When you finish, right-click to end the object selection and then end the command. Now, when you move the cursor over the object, you can see that it is one polyline object. Therefore, you can now offset the entire polyline at once. Start the Offset command, specify the offset distance, select the object to offset, and specify a point on the side to offset. Then press Enter to exit from the command. If you do need to edit the individual line segments, in the Modify panel, you can click the Explode tool and then explode the polylines back into individual line segments. When you do, you can see that they are again individual objects. Converting lines into polylines first before offsetting is much faster than offsetting each individual line segment. This method prevents you from having to trim and extend all those individual line objects, even if you explode the object.